For us, we have two bus calls. And we have a speaker which is amplified. It has everything inside, uh, even its battery. So we tie a speaker behind the bus call, and then there's a pin which connects to amplifier, then we connect to the phone. Then we put the phone in front of the bus call, then where we play music from. When you're riding, you're playing the music, and I'm telling them, and actually today we have an activity or a program sharing about uh, gender-based violence in our community. The Sasa Activist Kit is a tried and tested community mobilization approach for preventing violence against women and HIV. It was designed for catalyzing community-led change of norms and behaviors that perpetuates gender inequality, violence, and increased HIV vulnerability for women. UN agencies in Uganda adopted Sasa based on an analysis of how gender-related power imbalances are the root cause of violence against women. With this perspective, Sasa outlines a gradual process that supports people and institutions in using their power positively to reflect on, affect and sustain change at individual and community levels. When they come, we ask them of their expectations and then some, some people can tell us, we don't even know what the training is all about. We hear this word Sasa, it has different meanings in our languages. So when you bring them to what Sasa actually means, it is a Swahili word that says now, and now starts to change. It's up to us to take it on us to create positive change in our lives. Because when you look at the first phase of Sasa, it says that change starts with you as an individual. I have seven children and I love them. I feed them with food for my garden. I cultivate crops and raw chickens for sale. I use the money to buy books and pencils. I'm capable of this because I changed from drunkardness. The Sasa training helped me reflect on my life. I sat with my husband and discussed our future and that of our children. Now, I'm an activist. We use two methods to identify Sasa activists. The first method, we used to use it before, whereby we go to a community, randomly call everybody for a meeting, and then we organize statements, provocative statements, that make people speak out their minds, and we we gauge whether they're able to be good leaders. Are they, do they have potential to change if they are given ability or if they are given the skill to change? Do, are they knowledgeable of what they're talking about? And do they have the command to be respected by the community members? <laughs> They similarly select institutional activists, for example, from police, healthcare, local government, and faith based groups. All activists are introduced to the new ways of thinking about power and power imbalances in their own lives and within the community, and they too are mentored in the Sasa approach. My name is Adupa John Robert Akiki, mainly action activist, Moroto District, Rupa Sub County, uh, Rupa or oh, Mogoth Parish. Without FGM, without cattle wrestling, or anything, or alcoholism, Karamoja is a good place. Karamoja is a beautiful and a rich place. We have a lot of minerals. Without bad cultural practices, we can still survive. We have a lot to do, and we, have, we are very rich than other districts or other places. Without all this, Karamoja is very rich and we are still surviving and we shall still survive for 100 and 100 years. <laughs>